Hi, and welcome to my St. Louis hotel room. Um, we're gonna get started with just a uh, low impact high knee here. Hold the knee up. Two of my flights tomorrow canceled, so that's exciting. And I get paid for them anyway, so that's even more exciting. <laughs> Does not always work out that well. Three, two, one. Take it across the body. A little bit of a twist here. Elbow to opposite knee. Get that little twist. And it's not super early in the morning, so I don't have to be super quiet. And I know the person next to me is one of the flight attendants, so <laughs> she can get over. She'll be fine. Twist up. Twist up. Four. Three, two, one. Little steps in front. Pull those arms back. Just a little heel dig in front. Swing the arms back. Warming up that chest. Warming up that back. And butt kick, same thing. Pull the arms back, but just get that hamstring engaged a little bit. We have three rounds through everything that we're gonna do. Four, three, two, one. Slow jumping jack, out and in with one leg, out and in with the other leg. I have to turn sideways, I don't have a whole lot of room. So just warming up those glutes, warming up that side leg, keep the chest lifted. Three, Two, squats, down and up, down, lift, down, lift, back on the heels, chest is lifted, four, three, two, hold it down here, hold, hold, <laughs> you are ready, Naomi, you're just like, oh no, <laughs> you're like, I know it's coming, <laughs> three, two, Bring it up and slow high knees. We're gonna do a little quicker through here. Three, two, add that twist, 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 twist. Warm that spine up. Three, two, squats, down and up. We're going one more of that shorter round of warm up. Three, Two, slow jumping jack, side leg goes slow. Jumping jack, side leg. Well, this is low impact so that I don't piss off the people below me. I'm on the eighth floor. <laughs> a lot of people below me to make that. <laughs> Four, three, two, and just step it out. Step it out, walk it out. Our first two exercises, Bulgarian split squat. Foot needs to be on something behind you. It can be on a bed, it can be on a desk, whatever it is that you have behind you. Or if you don't have anything, just hit a regular lunge. We're hitting that 30 seconds each side, and then we're coming into a single leg squat. One leg out in front, one leg out behind. Down and up, 30 seconds each side. Three rounds on each side. Starting here in 10 seconds. So choose a leg, doesn't matter which one, whichever makes you happy. Three, two, chest lifted and down and lift. The front knee, you want over the ankle. If it goes forward a little bit, as long as the weight is still in the heel, that's okay. Chest has lifted you. You're not fully forward down. If you want to add a weight to this, you can. You have a wall by you, you can use that wall for balance. Three, two, one. Switch legs, you should get a nice burn through that quad. Three, two, one, and down and up. Chest is lifted. Push through the heel. Maybe you can flare those toes up a little bit. <sighs> I did legs yesterday. 
and I taught a class this morning <laughs> at Lifetime, so my legs are on fire already. Three, two, and one, step it up. Keep your feet moving, single leg squat, each side. Three, two, and one. If you can't go all the way down, you can drop that foot or that heel in front of you to add a little bit extra support. You're just putting all the weight that you can in one leg. If it's too low, throw some pillows or something underneath your butt. You don't have to use a step. You can just come down and up. Three, two, step it out. Other leg. So not a whole lot of cardio, but a lot of strength. Three, two, other leg, single leg squat. Push through that heel. There's something under my hotel bed. I think someone left some clothing there. <laughs> You're gonna get a free new shirt. Keep it moving. 10 seconds. Down nice and slow. Push with the heel. Three, two, one. Resting out. Step it out. We've got that Bulgarian split squat. Foot back on something. Three, two, one. Begin. So the heart rate should start increasing here. It shouldn't be like super high like we're doing burpees, but you're gonna start to feel, especially that back quad and the front glute starting to get really, really engaged. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Rest it up. Maybe just step your feet out a little bit. Other side, three. Two, one, down and up here. I bring food with me whenever I work, so I don't have to like buy food when I'm out. And I'm heating it up right now, I have like a little hot logic thing that I bring with me. So now my whole room smells like, and they cauliflower fried rice like every other day. It's like my favorite food. <laughs> now my room smells like it, and I'm so hungry now. <laughs> Three, two, one, and step it out. Single leg squats. Four, three, two, one, and begin. Doing this single leg stuff is so, so good for you. It keeps your body from building muscular imbalances. Keeps your body balanced. Four, three, two, and one, step it up. Never let your feet stop moving. On those old 10 second rests. Three, two, one, other side. I like stacked a whole bunch of pillows in front of my hotel room. We're just trying to like block out some of the noise from the hallway. <laughs> Move to all my pillows there. Well, we have two beds. We have an eating bed and a sleeping bed. Ask any flight attendant, they'll tell you two beds is the way to go. So you can order your food, get all your crumbs in one bed. Three, two, one more round through that. Three, two, okay, and split squat, down and up, down and up. This is my eating bed tonight. Chest lifted, core tight. Should have a nice burn through those thighs. We're gonna get those legs a break after this round, or after the uh, single leg squats. Moving on to the upper body. Three, two, one. Step it out. Upper leg. In three, two, 
one down and up. Push through the heel. Straight down, straight up. Sorry, I can't go turn sideways very well, but that's a little too high for this one. <laughs> These beds are like almost a good height for me. <laughs> 10 seconds. <sighs> Legs are burning. Four. Three. Two. One single leg squat. Step it out. Those legs should be feeling it by now. Four. Three. Two. One. Single leg. Back on the heel. Push through that heel. Especially on the way up. You're not coming out of the bottle of that foot. You can put weight down onto whatever you're sitting on. Especially gets you down lower. Sitting down lower is more range of motion. Lowering down nice and slowly, resisting gravity. Three, two, one. Step it out. Other leg. Three, two, and we bend down and up. If you have a longer rest, we're coming to a bunch of push-ups and tricep exercises. Similar round interval to what we just did. Ten seconds. Push to the heel. Three, two, longer rest. Step it out, walk it out. I'm gonna show you. Incline push-up, I'm just gonna demo on the bed because it's just a better angle for you. Incline push-up. Then we're doing dips. With dips, the closer your feet are, the easier it will be. But you do not want to be far away from whatever you're dipping on. Your butt is right up against it the whole time. If you're far away, puts your shoulder in a really compromising position. Then we're hitting a decline push-up with your feet or knees up on something. And then we're doing crab kicks across. Starting in 10 seconds with that incline push-up. Three, two, incline push-up. Let's go down and up. You can always drop the knees at any point. feel weird like <laughs> they're just away from the camera. <laughs> I need a side raise. Keep it up. Two seconds. Three, two, one, and rest it out. We have dips coming up. Three, two, one, dip it out. Down and lift. Down and lift. Trying to tap that back, that butt close to the ground, but don't let the elbow get above the shoulder. Right to shoulder height, or even less than that. If you use it above shoulder height, that's considered hyperextension. It can cause some shoulder problems. Chest lifted. If it gets too hard, set it down and shake it out if you need to. Four, three, two, decline push ups. I'm going to put my knees up here because it's going to go really hard really fast because we still have two more rounds to hold this. Three, two, begin. Keep your core tight. 20 seconds to go. Shift it back into a child pose. Give me that little break. 10 more seconds. You can do regular push-ups as well, but hitting that different angle than we usually do is so good for the chest. Three, two, one. Bring it up all the way to the ground. We have crab kickers. Hand to opposite foot. Three, two, one. I'm just gonna fight my own feet here. Make sure you can breathe. We have two more rounds here. If you're 
triceps and shoulders should hate you by the end of this. Four, three, two, and one. Incline, push up. Take rest when you need to, burning out that upper body. Three, two, begin. Two more rounds through all of that. Drop through the knees if you need to. Shifting it back for a quick little child pose or just a little forward fold when you need to. 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Rest it out. Dippers. Three, two, and begin. You can take a little break if you need it. Trying to take as little of a break as possible. My body. <laughs> I'm not happy about this. <laughs> Good. Keep going. 10 seconds. Three, two, decline, push up. Okay, for a little bit wider, that'll be a little more chest and shoulder. Three, two, one, begin. 30 seconds. Make sure you breathe. I know I say that all the time, but I don't say it when I'm forgetting to breathe. If I'm forgetting to breathe, when I'm literally talking non-stop in these videos, <laughs> that means there's a good chance you're forgetting also. Four, three, two, one. Bring it all the way down. Crab walk. One more round through. Three, two, one. Happy. Fifteen seconds. One more round through. We're going back to legs after the next round. Squats and deadlifts. Three, two, one. More round, incline, dip, decline, crab. Three, two, one, let's go. Chest lift and core tight. breaks when you need to. You can tell it's getting hard to meet you when I like stop talking. <laughs> 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Decline push-ups. We're almost done with those arms. Three, two, one. Begin. Cool. Push through. Take that little break, as small a break as you can handle. Three, two, one. Crabby, crabby, crabby. Last round. Three, two, 
and go hand to opposite foot. A little bit of core, a little bit of shoulder, a lot of tricep. I know those wrists are probably like really mad at you too, but we'll be up soon. 10 seconds, longer rest. Four, three, two, one, and all the way up. Shake those arms out. Where are we coming? Wide squat. So we're gonna hit a wide squat with a pulse down. Nice and simple, nothing crazy. Then we're gonna point those toes forward, hands behind the head, wide deadlift. With those hands back or lifted for more of a challenge. If you have weight, feel free to add it. Then we're coming into a regular squat with a front kick, get a little bit of speed here, alternating, and then we have a narrow deadlift. So wide squat starting in 10 seconds. Three, two, point the toes up, pulse at the bottom, pulse and lift. Squeeze your butt at the top. When you squat down, your knees go back nice and wide. Your chest stays lifted. Squeeze to booty. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Three, two, option to hold it down here. If you want, hold it. We're gonna point the toes forward in just a second. Wide deadlift. Three, two, bring it up. Point toes forward. Deadlift. For that deadlift, you're just keeping your back flat, shifting the booty back. Squeezing the butt at the top. Down, lift. Down, lift. A little bit wider. I don't do wide that, but that often, so this feels good. Three, two, one. Bring it up. Squat, front kick. You can even add a little weight to this if you want. Three, two, squat, kick, squat, kick. not really allowed to take dumbbells through security. <laughs> I've gotten in trouble for it before. <laughs> well, not in trouble. They were under the weight that you're allowed to bring through, but it was still tough. <laughs> he was like, are those dumbbells? And I was like, yes, they are. <laughs> Four, three, two, one, and step it out. Keep your feet moving. Narrow deadlifts, feet about hip distance apart, starting in three, two, and down, lift. This is more of a good morning, actually, than a deadlift. And if you have weight, you can totally load the shoulders. As long as the back stays perfectly flat, it's not a forward fold, like from yoga, because you're never rounding down, or you're going to lose that hamstring activation. Your back is flat, your toes may lift. Four, three, two, one, bring it up. Two more rounds through. Wide squat to start with that pulse at the bottom. Three, two, toes out, and take a pulse, pulse, lift, squeeze the butt. I'm not gonna be on beat for this. That would involve me thinking ahead at the beat. <laughs> I don't think that I'm just, <laughs> you know, do it. Open those hips up nice and wide. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Three, two, one. Hold it if you want. Optional hold. We've got that one. wide deadlift. Good morning. Three, two, bring it up. Toes point forward and Take it all the way down and lift, squeeze the butt. Ten 
four seconds. Four, three, two, one. We got the squat with the front kick. Quick rest, walk into the speed out. Three, two, one, begin. Chest lifted, core tight, get a nice kick in front. This is supposed to get the heart rate up, elevated just a little bit. Ten more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Step it out. Narrow deadlift slash good morning the more coverage of three. Three, two, and down lift. With your hands behind, you're pinching the shoulder blades together. You cannot see the elbows. They're back out of your peripherals. Ten seconds. One more round through each. Then we're moving on to core, and then we're done. Three, two, one. Step it out. Wide squat with the pulse. Three, two, last round of legs. Squeeze the booty at the top. Chest is lifted, core is tight. seconds. We have a longer rest. Then we have core. Four exercises. Three rounds through. Three, two, one. Rest. All right. Our first exercise is just a basic crutch, pulling the knees in, tapping those heels to the ground. Then a bicycle. Fell on the opposite knee. Option to hold in between. We're gonna flip it over from there, coming into a push-up position, knee to same elbow, then knee to opposite elbow. Knee to same elbow, then knee to opposite elbow. Then we're gonna lay it down, hitting the back just a little bit, lift, in, out, down. Lift, in, out, just like that. Starting with that crunch in 10 seconds. If you've already like forgotten it, I'll keep track, hopefully. Crunch it, three, two, up and down. Three, two, one, and 
your elbows are wide, just like they were in that good morning. If the elbows are close, you might be using those hands to pull up, or you might not come as high as you can. But if they're nice and wide, you're likely to come up a little bit higher, engaging that core. Just a little more. 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Maybe you hold it. We have a bicycle after this. You can rest it or you can hold it. Three, two, knee to opposite elbow here. Twenty seconds to go. Elbow, knee. Ten more seconds, we're gonna flip it over. Four, three, two, one, and roll it up. Flip it over. Push up position, knee to same elbow, knee to opposite elbow. Three, two, one. Begin, knee to same elbow, pull that knee across. I just pulled it across twice in a row. Not sure why, but apparently it just felt right. After this, we have that back exercise. Then we're gonna hit it two more times through. Three rounds total. Three, two, one. And lay it all the way down. So it's that three point Superman. Lift, in, out, down. Ready, and go. Lift, in, out, down. Keep your neck neutral. Don't be looking forward. That's straining on the neck. Look just below your hands when they're extended. Squeeze in the glutes and hamstrings to bring those feet off the ground. Three. Two, one, two more rounds through there. Back to crunch and then bicycle. Three, two, and up, down. Elbows nice and wide. Roll that butt up off the ground. You have 10 more seconds here. Option to hold in three, two, hold if you want, or rest if that's what you need. Elbow to knee, three, two, elbow, knee, elbow, knee. Keep your low back push into the ground. Core is tight. Skip the legs if that low back bothers you at all. Just bring elbow to opposite knee. You're still getting that twist through the core, but it might make your back a little happier. Three, two, one. Bring it up, flip it over. Knee to same elbow, knee to opposite. Three, two, one. As fast or as slow as you feel comfortable going. Really pushing the ground away from you. Ten seconds. Three. Two. One, all the way down. Three point Superman. Lifting it up in three, two, and lift. Pull out, down, lift. Pull out, down, lift. You can move at your own pace to lift the feet off the ground. Glutes and hamstrings, not your low back. Ooh, 10 more seconds, one more round through. 
Three, two, one. Rolling it over, back onto your back. Last round, we're gonna stretch it out after this. Three, two, one. Lift it and lower. Crunch, crunch. Elbows wide. Don't let yourself slip into the peripherals. Ten seconds. Keep it moving. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold it if you want. Bicycle. In. Three. Two. And. Elbow to knee. Elbow to knee. Get your shoulder weight up off the ground. If you just stay back here and you're not really lifting up, you're missing so much of the core work you could be doing. Crunching the chest up, trying to get it past the knee. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Flipping it over. Push up position. Knees to elbows. Three, two, and knee. Knee, cross, cross. Feel those abs engage. Don't forget to breathe. Ten seconds. Three, two, and all the way down. Superman's, and then we're stretching it out. Three, two, bring it up, back, out, down. So often you forget to hit these back of the core. It's so important. So often we end up overworking the core and underworking these back extensor muscles. 10 seconds. Things like Pilates classes are usually really good about hitting these. Three, two, one. Shift it back, child's pose. Stretch it out here. Drop that forehead to the ground. Walk your hands to one side. Place the hand on top of the other. Stretching out the shoulders. We did so much on the shoulders earlier. Three, two, one. Other side. Walk your hands across the opposite side. Opposite hand on top. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. And feet straight out in front, hamstrings. We're gonna do three different style of hamstring stretches. Inhale the arms up, exhale the arms down, forward fold. So that hip moves in all different directions, so we're gonna stretch it in different directions. So often we hit the narrow and the wide, we're gonna hit the in-between as well. If you can't reach your toes, you can always grab a towel, wrap it around your feet seams. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Take your feet out just a little bit wider than the shoulders. Not as wide as you can go. Look at kind of that middle range. Lift through the chest. Exhale, folding forward. If you have a yoga mat, you're like just wider than the yoga mat. We're going to go to that nice wide forward hold in just a second. When I was teaching my class this morning at lifetime, my hamstrings were just like yelling at me and it all sorts of dead lifts and stuff yesterday. <laughs> Three, two, one. Feet out nice and wide. I'm going to turn side to side for you. If you put one hip from the other, just like scoop yourself forward to increase the stretch a little bit. Three, two, one, fold forward. 
the table is just like way flat in position. I am not one of those people. That takes some serious dedication to flexibility that I don't have. Like many people do, kind of, the bare minimum. Keep this going. Three, two, and one. Find yourself in a lunge position. One knee on the ground, other foot forward. Push those hips forward. We're going to stretch out that shoulder as well. So pull that arm across. Really shifting those hips forward. Feel that hip flexor stretch. Pushing it forward, keeping the chest lifted. Shoulder, a little bit of back. Nice hip flexor, a lot of core looking hip flexor also. We get to wake up at four in the morning tomorrow. Three, two, and one. Switching legs. Push the hips forward. Three, two, one, add that arm. I like mornings, 5 a.m. is good, 4 a.m. is a little early. But I get back to the Chicago before 8 a.m., so if I'll be home before 9 a.m., and I can snuggle a little bit and drink Chug's coffee. Chug is another word for what will be happening. <laughs> 10 seconds. Push those hips forward. Three. Two, one, standing it up nice and slow. We're going to hit a quad stretch. 30 seconds each side. Three, two, and one. Hands together, hips push forward. Use the wall for balance. If you want to check that balance a little bit, feel free. But I want you to focus a little more on the stretch than the balance. So if the balance is keeping you from stretching, go ahead and just aid yourself in that balance a little bit. Head your knees close together, push the chest forward, keep that chest lifted. Ten more seconds. Give a lot of those quads too. Three, two, one, and walk it out for just a second. Other leg. Three, two, and one. Knees together, push the hips forward, chest lifted, core tight. We're just going to take a couple deep breaths, and then we'll be done, and I get to eat my food, my whole, I said apartment, what is this, a hotel room, my whole hotel room smells like kibachi, it's amazing, but not fun to work out to, I want kibachi now, three, two, one, three deep breaths. Inhale, the arms to lift, full body stretch. Exhale it down, two more. Inhale it all the way up. Exhale it down. Last one. Big deep breath in. And exhale down. You are done.